Hey Frames Nation, Jordan Page here, and okay, so we have a party at our house tonight, but every single room of my house is looking like this. So let's clean, shall we? Let's do it. So tonight we are hosting our annual ugly sweater white elephant party with friends. And if you can't tell by my voice, it's been a very busy week. We were in charge of a big church party. We've been hosting people. We've had friends over, school parties. So my house is just out of control. Bubba got the kids out of the house running some errands this morning. I have like two hours to myself in a quiet house, which never happens. So I'm going to speed clean every room that I can in that amount of time and hope then that it stays clean until our party. Figured I'd take you guys along with me to see how I do it. Should we do this? Okay, I can't even take any longer to chit chat. Let's go. Here's my plan. My plan is I'm going to follow my 80-20 rule. Do you guys remember what that is? I teach it in productivity boot camp, but essentially it's the principle that 20% of the things that need to get done will make 80% of the impact. So focus on that 20%. So what that means is like, let's say that in every single room that I need to clean, there are 10 things or 100% of things that could be done. If you could only have time to do two, of those 10 things, what two things would make the most impact? So like if I'm gonna clean my bedroom, sure I could dust my fan, I could scrub the baseboards, I could wash the bath mats, I could also make the bed, pick up the floor, vacuum. So like of all those things, picking up and making the bed would probably make the most impact. Now does it make the room deep cleaned? No, but if I only have time to do two out of 10, choose the two things that make the most impact, all right? Again, I teach that way better in more detail in Productivity Bootcamp. You can check that out below. But I'm going to use that principle today not only for cleaning the actual rooms, but also in deciding what rooms need to be done. If I have 10 rooms in my house that are messy and I only have time to do two, what two should I start with? Which two rooms make the most impact for making our house feel cleaner, okay? So that's where I'm going to start. And for me, that is going to be our entry and also our great room. I'm going to then move down and follow the path that our guests will take to get to the kitchen, the bathrooms, and anywhere else where they will be. And if I have time, then I'll get to the bedrooms and the other areas of our house where the party won't be, but that they still need to be cleaned. I also know that my kids will be home later and I will have them help me with their own rooms as well as like the messy car and the mud room and things like that. So that's another reason why I'm going to put those off to the end. And again, using the 80-20 principle, I'm not going to deep clean yet. I'm just going to do the 20% first that makes the room look and feel clean. And then if I have time, I'll go back and get nitty gritty deep cleaning with like dusting, mopping, things like that. I've got my morning vitamin and caffeine cocktail. Let's get to work, yeah, work, work. Oh, and I guess I should explain all the balloons. We helped plan our Christmas party at our church and we had some giant balloon arches. And so we have the leftover balloons from that that I'm hoping to repurpose for our party rather than just pop them and throw them away. That made me sad. So we took them home so they wouldn't go to waste. And my plan will be to use them to decorate, but not until I clean. Let's go. Oh, one other tip is I went and got two baskets. I have one to go upstairs and one to go downstairs. So that way, if there are things in the room that I'm cleaning that do not belong, I can just gather them and then put them all away at once instead of leaving the room 500 times, which eats up a lot of unnecessary time. So be sure to get yourself some baskets. It helps. Okay, so believe it or not, this entry 
is pretty much done except for decorations. These two trees we used at our church party and I would like to decorate them and use them here at the front door. But again, focusing on the 80-20 principle, I need to focus on cleaning, not decorating. So I'm just going to kind of move everything out of the way so I can feel the clean and see the clean and also have space on my floor to vacuum. At the end, I will come back and put all the pretty finishing touches. So it's not quite there, but we're getting there. So I'm just gonna set the decorating aside for now, even though it's so hard for me to do. We're gonna do it. One room down, let's move on to the next one. Okay. Okay, before I move on to the next room, there's two tips I wanna share with you about cleaning the house. Number one is I got some paper and I'm going to keep a running list of things that still need to be done. This is very handy, especially because when my family comes home, they can help me with this. So one of the things I'm going to write is that in the entryway, I need the wreaths to be hung up my stairs. I need the trees decorated and the floor mopped if we have time. So keep a running list of what still needs to be done. Kind of that, you know, 80% that you don't get to right away so you don't forget. Also, another tip that I teach in Productivity Bootcamp is never leave a room empty handed. I mean that. Like, as I went to the kitchen to go get the broom, every time I walked through a hallway or through a room, I did one thing. I picked up something off the ground and threw it away. I closed some cabinet doors. I picked up something that I saw on the stairs and just dropped it where it belongs on the way. This is not just a principle for when you're cleaning, but this is a principle for life. Okay, got my list, let's move on to the next space.
Okay, I got the main room and the entry room done except for decorations as well as the piano room which is also one of the first rooms they'll see. It's time to tackle the kitchen. This is where we will be serving food and drinks. So it's a big one. I'm not going to worry about deep cleaning this one until the last minute because my family will still be using it but I've got to at least tidy it up and get going on dishes and stuff so I can stay on top of the messes and have hopefully only a little bit to do right before the party. Let's go. Okay, here's a little holiday tip. The Christmas treats are starting to pile up. So, one of the things that I like to do is set out a small little table that we call our treat table. I'm actually going to set that up and just have a little space in our pantry where we pile up all the treats or you could use a shelf or a cabinet or a cupboard or even put up a little card table in a different room of your house. But otherwise the treats just like pile up on the counter and I like having them out so that when guests come for Christmas, we can say, hey, help yourself to the treat table. And we will also get like a bucket and put drinks and beverages down under the treat table as well. So it's kind of a free for all, please eat these so that I don't table. Okay, I took a break for a little while because the kids all came home and Bubba came home and we've been doing stuff together. But now I've got the party in two hours. Literally, I'm not ready for the day. So what I'm gonna do now is focus on decorating. Every room is clean, it looks good. And I forgot to film it, but we even went back and we were able to deep clean. The kids helped vacuum. We've been wiping things down, it smells good. So I feel like it's clean enough and I'm very happy with it. So now, time to decorate. I am going to start pulling the balloons back out. I put them away and I'm going to finish this balloon arch situation and then decorate the trees and then be ready. Smells good. We got my ugly sweater on. I'm ready for my party. That's it. That is how I speed clean my house. It's crazy, it's frantic, but it got done. It looks so pretty in here. Look. Okay, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe, new video next week, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. 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 See ya. See ya. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah.